Douglas Bromley, mid-50s, loaded. Bought the boat outright. The other's called Blake, mid-30s, an ex-copper. Is that a problem? Oh, it could be. Probably some sort of bodyguard. Yeah. Okay, Blake's yours. Bromley's mine. over there. Pop him, smile a while. Yeah. If he goes anywhere near that till, let me know. Right. What are you playing at? Uh, later, all right? You were supposed to be rehearsing the panto. Yes, this is the opening of my new restaurant. I think that takes priority, don't you? No, but I gave you that part. On the understanding that you'd work at it. Uh, <laughs> I'll work something right up your nose unless you... My fault. You're English? Yeah? You're just what I need. Do you know where Peppy's bar is? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going there. Well, well I'll tell you. <laughs> well, I'm new here. I'd probably never find it on my own. Well, it's not quite. think of Shay Franks. And now I leave you in the capable hands of Leighton and his musical organ. Right, take it away, Leighton. American? English. For our stay, senor. How much? How much you give? Oh, now, if you haggle with me, mate, you'll come unstuck. Five thousand pesetas. Two thousand. OK, senor. Senora! Bonitas perlas. Uh, uh, Pay, senor. Uh. Señora. Gracias. Señora, señora. Bonitas collares. A mil pesetas. Usted pagaría tres o cuatro mil. Saca la pasta, o te corta el cuello. I've never been robbed in Spanish before. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Suéltala. Espera esto. Lárgate, hijo de puta, lárgate. No te metas en esto, ¿eh? 
Devolverle sus cosas y fuera. ¿Tú, tú, ¿Tú quién te crees que eres, eh? Devolverle sus cosas y fuera. Yeah. What, just drop them? Yeah. All right, so what do you see in my nuts? Lots of things. Well, tell me what I'm going to get for Christmas. I'd say you've been a policeman. Where do you see that? I just see it. You have a friend, one real friend, older than you, probably. You find relationships difficult. Oh. What? Nothing. And what do you see? Nothing. I'm broad my what you and your friend get up to is your business. What do you mean? Nothing. I made a mistake, that's all. What? Now, hang on. Hang on. Wait. Waiter. Waiter. Oh, if you haven't come along... I forget it. No, I mean, if there's anything I can do oh, for you... forget it. I mean it. Really, anything. Well, there is one thing. Yeah? This pantomime. That's just typical, isn't it? I mean, you think these you think these things write themselves, probably? I wrote it. Sweaty blood over it. Agonised over every line. To hone it up to perfection. And you just turn up and you think I can just toss it all away at the last minute? We're just adding a little extra attraction. I promised him a five-minute slot. Come on, it's only a laugh and a joke. Shame that trick. A laugh and a joke? Do you think I'm going on stage like this? Oh, later. How can I get up there like this? That's for certain. No one's going to see me looking like this. Look, later, dear. Look. <laughs> this is weird. Now, look. You see that stage, Bromley? Come the day, that stage is in. Take a card. Every year, the Spanish turn up here in their droves, praying that we are going to cock it all up. And each year, they are disappointed. Why? Because it's all down to me. Only me, only me. Because I take the can and I say who is in and who is out. Got that? Yes. Right. Now, I do need someone to play the part of a broker's man. You find me a broker's man and do your films and everything. Someone shut her up! I'm pulling my type out up here and nobody's taking a What is the problem? What's the problem? You're looking at it. Look at me, for God's sake! Never mind her, it's my big scene. This is my big scene! And I want a bit of direction! I want a bit of direction! Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Had a very shiny nose And if you ever saw it You would even say it glows All of the other rangers Used to laugh and call him names They never let call I owe this man a favour. I'm not prancing around that stage looking like an idiot. Frank's doing it, I'm doing it. I rest my case. Anything else, senor? You'll have to speak up. My ears are still ringing. Anything else? Um, just some salt and vinegar, please. Si, sí, senor. What's going on? Nothing. Will somebody please tell me what's going on? Nothing. Beep, beep, beep. Excuse me. No me gusta que vayas en moto. Que ya soy mayorcita. Who is he? The guitarist. Spends his money on drugs, sex and rock and roll. And what's left, he just squanders. Laurel and Hardy. Well, it was quite funny. Oh, you are the humour, Douglas, what King Herod is to childcare. It's right up your street, Blake. What is? This part, the broker's man. The heartless, money-grubbing, oversexed villain. Right up your street. Just a minute, just a minute. It's all the same to you. I think I prefer my vinegar over my chips, not in my eye. I don't think I'll be able to eat now anyway. It'll be a week before my teeth stop rattling. All in all, I, 
Not to say I object to your Boris Becker approach to service. And I object to being a spider upon, senor. I don't steal money from my employer. No one here is stealing money from the boss. So go, please, senor. Stop spying on us. You were watching him? Yeah. We're working for Frank. You could have told me, Blake. You could have at least have mentioned it. I'm sorry, Frank. We blew it. Look, if you'd have known we were keeping tabs on that guy, what would have happened? Well, I'll tell you. You'd have gone mad. I mean, you know, the false beard would have come out, the trilby, the trench coat, the works. You'd have blown it. <laughs> you blew it anyway. Well, yeah, of course I blew it, thanks to you. It's Petra. Yeah, that's the man I told you about, Sultan, the man I owe the favour to. Hypnosis. Mm. Mm. And he's a magician. And he does some conjuring tricks, too. And I... I'm his assistant. All right. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so how would you drive the boat? <laughs> well, you, uh... Well, I'll take you out, if you like. Oh, is the boat as fast as you are? <laughs> <laughs> well, it does about 25 knots. You can drive it if you want. I think you should do the pantomime, Blake. I'm really looking forward to working with you. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, we will. Oh, no, you Thumb right in my eye. Oh, an accident. Accident? When the joint of the sword fight comes, I'm going to chop your bloody head off. Hey, have you seen uh, the Johnny Green Giant? Oh, Frank? Yes, oh, we've lost him. Oh, oh. Om Shanti Om. Stage fright, you see. I've had it all my life. Even when I was born. Cesarean. I knew there were people watching, so I wouldn't come out. You're gonna have to tell them. 
Rakako up. The jolly green bottle has got no giant. You will do exactly as I say. Total obedience. Total obedience. Total obedience. In here. Oh, God. Stage fright. Well, Did you get in like this? No. To... I was just um, uh, loosening up. Well, you loose now, Frank. To the bee. He loses a newt. And you said you loved only me. Feel that beat. Feel that heartbeat, feel the goodness pumping from your heart. Give, give, it's Christmas, and your heart is pumping goodness, and you want to give, give, give. Did he know his lines? What line? <coughs> Don't worry. He'll busk his way through. He'll be fine. But he's the jolly green giant. Yeah? Well, isn't he supposed to be on stilts? Oh. Don't worry, we'll be back in the second half. Because he, he, um, he's big yeah, and very green and jolly. When you were sweet. Yes, get on. When you were sweet. Jolly. Oh. 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 Listen, he has. Oh, he's, gone. he's gone off with all your gear. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. Quiet, please, please, quiet. Quiet, please. It's all right. I'm a policeman.
Sal, sal de capao. Sal, yo hice lo que pude. Hice lo que pude. What what is your blood there, Arthur? I didn't want to leave it, Pam. I'm in the first place. Oh, thanks very much. A friend in need. There's a pay at the bum. You're on your own, Douglas. Don't. Iglesias había mi otro mundo. Entonces, ¿qué digo yo? Buscar la policía. I don't understand, señor. La vieja la policía. One sec. Entonces, yo digo por la policía. One sec. La vieja la policía. My boat. Y yo busqué el teléfono. Yes, señor. It's gone. No funcionó. Corrió otro de al teléfono. Who? Who? Hombre negro, black man, el sultán. You can only do 25 knots flat out. If you put a helicopter up, you're bound to spot him. He can't have gone far. Name, please. Bromley. I tell you what, I'll go up in the helicopter with you. I mean, I can spot my own boat a mile off. And your name, senor? Bromley, I've already told you. Oh, Bromley is your name? See, si, yes. Look, couldn't we leave the paperwork till later? And the name of the boat, senor? El Cid. Uh, you spell Bromley? B R O M L E. Uh, illegal immigrant being deported. Uh, when was last time you saw your boat, senor? That's the guy who sold me the belt. <laughs> when was the last time you saw your boat, senor? A two-faced scheming cow, Petra, I bloody petrify her. I showed her everything. I showed her all around the boat. I showed her the logbook, the fuel, the navigation. I gave it to her on a plate. I'm gonna kill her. When I get my hands on, I'm gonna bloody kill her. Hello, my friend. Now, hello to you two birds. There's nothing funny about it. I, uh, I take it we're insured. Yes. Ah, oh, opportunity knocks. We'll get the market value, Frank, no more. No, no, you want to claim for everything. Television, video, stereo, diving gear, the lot. We were coppers. Coppers don't do that. Don't make me laugh. I've got cracked ribs. Hey, uh, hey, Douglas. What? Um, do us a favour, will you? What? Uh, scratch me nose. No. Blake. Sorry, Frank. <sighs> What do you do about, uh... About what? Well, you know, it's not just your nose needs wiping. Well, that's when you discover who your friends really are. <laughs> oi! Oi! You owe me 750 pesetas. We lost everything. 750 pesetas. Write it down. You're all heart, Frank. And sign it. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. You know what I mean? We'll need somewhere to sleep. No f Okay. Well, there's one problem. <laughs> getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Getting to like you, getting to hope you will like Get me. off. <laughs> she saw all this. Who? Petra. She saw this in my nuts. <laughs> Long story. Which side of the bed do you want? Uh, I'll take the left. Take the left as we look at it, or the left as we lie on it? Left as we lie on it. Oh. What's the problem? Well, I like that side. Tough. It's just that when Jean was alive, that's the side I used to sleep on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't want you waking up in the middle of the night and finding a warm body next to you and then imagining it's your missus. I think I might spot the difference, Blake. Eventually, yeah. Some company. I'm busy. Oh. Took something for me to come in here uninvited, knowing that I was never going to be invited. It took something. So don't kick me in the teeth. I don't want to hurt you, Petra. I said I'm busy.
said he was loaded. Some kind of playboy. Isn't he? No. All he's got in the world is this boat. We've stolen somebody's home. I want my share. I'm leaving. And what's your share? Half the stuff we nicked. Out of the question. Look, I'm not stupid. You've got a big payday coming. I don't want to hang around that long. I'm leaving now, and I want my share. A big payday? You needed money. You needed a boat. You're going to Morocco. It all adds up to one thing. Drugs. I take you closer to the shore, and then it's goodbye. We gotta find that boat. We're insured. It's not the money, it's my home. It's like coming home from work and finding a big gap in the street where your house used to be. A big gap in your life. There's nothing we can do about it, Douglas. There's thousands of miles of sea out there. We'd never find it. That's some photographs, some letters, and two other things, They're all on the boat. OK, we'll find the boat. God knows how. Oh, I'd love to get my hands on a chopper. Have you seen this man? What's he done? Well, he stole a boat, this one. You're looking for a thief with no taste, eh? <laughs> Here we are in the olden days, happy golden days of your faithful friends who are dear to Gathering it was once more. Through the years we all will live together if the fates allow. And I shine and stand upon the highest ground. Sounded better. Any luck? Hey? Any luck? Yeah. She's got a record. It's small time stuff. How about you? No, nothing. Listen, do you think you could go somewhere quieter, like the M25, something like that? Sí. If that's music, I'm saved by Yesteros. He is a musician. He's got talent. He's going to go far. The farther, the better. Yeah, it's the photographs, mainly. You've never lost anybody really close to you, have you? I don't suppose you've ever had anybody really close to you unless they were in handcuffs. Uh, you always see the face. It's funny everywhere. 
You think you're going crazy. And then time passes and you don't see it anymore. More time passes and you can't even remember it. You can't, you know, picture it in your mind. And then you know you're going crazy. I mean, this woman meant everything to you and you can't, you can't picture her face. So anyway, that's when the photographs come out, and it's OK. Well, they're no good to him. Well, he's bound to just bundle them up and send them on. Yeah. Uh, shall we go have a drink? No, you go. You sure? Sure. All right. Yeah, but might not be. Perdón, sargento. Dígamelo. Guárdamelo, por favor. Uh, uh, I'm going to need another statement. Another statement? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll give you another statement. Two words, short and sweet. I wonder if you know what they are. Merry Christmas. Well, I suppose all we need now is a star hovering over a manger. Oh, yeah. It's Christmas tomorrow. Well, I'm going to eat, drink, belch, fart. I'm going to have the time of my bloody life. dream about this place. Chestnut stuffing. I prefer sage and onion. Oh, you make Crocodile Dundee look sophisticated. Come on, pull, 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 pull. Oh! <laughs> A boat. Yeah. Merry Christmas. We don't get each other presents. Why not? <laughs> we are sleeping together now. A shaver. What's wrong? Douglas, what do you see? A wally. A bearded wally. Well, it's a trimmer as well as a shaver. You can trim your beard with it. You made me feel like a right frat now, you know that. That's... Why? Well, I haven't bought you a present. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. Well, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to embarrass you. I'm sorry. Don't buy my apologising. I buy you a Christmas present, you don't buy me one. Well, I end up apologising. That's... Typical, that is. Well, it was a last-minute thing anyway. It was not. Well, how come it wasn't on the boat? Stuff you, Blake. And a turkey. Well, that's, uh, that's lovely. But this isn't five o'clock shadow, you know. It's a trimmer as well as a shaver. Great. Thanks. You, you don't mind if I don't use it just at the moment, do you? Oh, no. I'll be with you in a minute. Anything you want on the house. On the house, all right. Excuse me. What's going on? I gave him your present. Uh, when we're slack, I'll join you, all right? I mean, I'd rather on the rest of Oh. Day. What should we start with? A bit of Christmas spirit. 
No, I, what I like is a computer game. Yeah, computer, not not one of your dot matrix special no. super duper etc. But just for games, you know, computer game. I could play those computer games just forever. Presents, presents you've always wanted. Pe ah, one of those gigantic Toblerones. A Toblerone. Toblerone scoffled itself. Ella Fitzgerald. What in the flag? An album. Ah, Ella Fitzgerald album. Ah. Uh, uh, no, thank you. I'm already plastered. I've got an alcohol problem. Yes. But you drink twice as much as I do. You're a guzzler. It's never interfered with my work, and I've never had a hangover. Well, that's because you've never been sober. Listen, future generations will dig you up, Blake, and there you'll be perfectly preserved. Every... Uh, can we talk? Of course we can. You can tell us everything. You're hurting me. Yeah, and then you can spend a few years in a Spanish nick. Why pick on us, eh? Why, no, just, why just pick on us? Just call the police. That boat was everything we had. You're hurting this me. This place is teeming with millionaires. Why pick on us? Call the police! He wouldn't have sunk it. He needs it. Why? Do we have a deal? Yeah, why does he need it? Do we have a deal? You say nothing about me, and I'll tell you everything you want to know about him. Yeah. Well... Promise? Yes. He's been to Morocco and back. He's lying off to Riffa now, waiting for nightfall. Why? You call the police, they'll want to know yeah, why. I'll tell him it's a false alarm. Add it up. Money, boat, Morocco. Drugs? Yeah. Why are you doing this? I hate him. Yeah, I know the feeling. Now, did you know it was about drugs? It was all his idea. Yeah, I'm sure the judge will understand. We had a deal! Senor! That woman robbed from the people of the pantomime. She stole our boat. We'll give you more details later. Senor, senor. Deme su documentación, por favor. Ya no he conocido pasaporte, cualquier cosa. ¿Qué es lo que pasa? You made a deal with her. Look, Douglas, she kidded the plums off me and she put you through hell. Now, it's nothing personal, but she knew he was in the drugs and you don't make deals with people who deal. Whatever she did, you gave her your word. We're taking a boat. What? I said we're taking a boat. Just a moment, just a moment. Just a moment, I shall go to the police. Our boat's been nicked, Metcalf, and it was in your care. Now, you should have taken more care of it instead of messing around with that bloody stupid pant of mine. I so I reckon you owe us one. I shall go to the police. I warn you, I shall go straight to the police. Let's go! You don't... Don't you do... Oh. Douglas, look. See you soon. Right. Now, listen. What we're going to do is this. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to break every bone in his body. Douglas. Uh, uh, ouch! Oh, sorry, Douglas. You always do it, don't you? You always bloody do it. Sorry. Hello again. How did you find me? Petra? I just followed my nose. You stink. Douglas. I'm sorry. I thought you were just another playboy, and this was just another boat. Blake? I'd allow them on deck, but they might be spotted from the air. I thought you were trafficking in drugs. That's bad enough, but people! Where are you all from? Hey? Yeah, Does anybody here speak English? Where are you from? Muñez.
My wife, she's dead. Elle est morte. How much is he charging you? Speak English? How much? How much? Combien? C combien? How much are you ripping these people off for? What's this? We needed more room. I had to chuck a few bits and pieces overboard. Answer me! Just wait a minute, Blake. The money is to pay for the damages and the letters to apologize. I didn't mean to hurt you, Douglas. How much? Nothing! Now listen, you're gonna go down for a long time, pal. Blake. What do you think you're doing? I'm taking the boat in. I haven't charged him a penny! Yeah, sure. Blake! Blake! Look, the watches and the jewelry belonged to people who had money to burn. I sold them. Gave the money to these men's families. Look, I'm taking them into Spain, Blake. They can work there, make some money, send it home. And if you think you can take them back to eat dirt and watch their children starve, I think they'll tear you apart. And what does that make you? Some kind of Robin Hood? More like black magic. So, I know the law's the law, and we're both policemen, but what I'm saying is this. Have you ever tried selling insurance? I'm serious, Blake. It's Christmas. If we can't talk about these things at Christmas, when I mean, can we talk about them? Ow. All right, it's Christmas. Fine. And, and we give our money away at Christmas. OK, Band-Aid, Live-Aid, Christian-Aid, Lemonade, whatever. But that's just money, Blake. It's just a sop to our conscience, the real test. Could somebody gag us both? Could somebody just come up here and gag us both? The real test is this. Are we or are we not prepared to offer these people a home in our country? And the answer is no, we're not. Fine. Can we get some sleep now? I'm sorry. It's just a little bit of intellectual conversation. It's beyond you. You should have realised. The trouble with you, Douglas, is you're a bit like Spanish brandy. You know what I mean? You're all right in small doses. Now, for the past four days, I've lived, ate and slept with you. Now, enough's enough. Now, please, button it and go to sleep, all right? All right. Right. The thing is, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to work things out in my mind. Just a little bit of philosophical speculation. Just all. shoot me. Somebody come up here and shoot me. This guy's boring me to death. Let's take the short way out. Just come up here and shoot me. The thing is, what law are they breaking? Oh. Hmm? I mean, it's a man-made law. It's the immigration law. And that law is designed to keep people out. Now, if we're Christian, and we all go around celebrating Christmas, so I suppose we must be, then what we must do is to ask ourselves, are we, or is it our duty to break that law? Hmm? This is fascinating, is it? I'm like a go on talking about this all night, because if you look at it from the other point of view, Blake? Us. Anybody bored? Hello, puss. You left the cat. <laughs> Hello, puss. Puss. Douglas. What? Merry Christmas from the Sultan. It's a giant Toblerone. How did he know? Is it an album? There's a logical explanation. There's got to be. Is it an album? Yeah. Ella Fitzgerald. Barry Manilow.
I mean, do I look as if I'm in a Barry Manilow? What's so funny? Nothing. There's got to be a logical explanation. Frank? Go on, take that, take that, you little nasty thing. Come on, any more coming in? One, two, three, that's you. You, uh, you take that. Go on, my son, go on. You right. shall... Don't talk to me, either of you. Don't ever talk to me again, I'm done with you. Why? You got me this, didn't you? <laughs> oh, no, it's happened again. It's bloody happened again. Every time I get King Arthur to the top of the drawbridge there, it gives away under him and he's back down in the dungeon again with them goblins going at him. Oh, six hours of this, it's doing my head in. And I can't get rid of the bloody goblins. We never gave this to you, Frank. Oh, yeah? Who did then? Father Christmas. It's the return of Jackass main man Steve O next, plus his group of gorgeous girls who play elaborate tricks on a very unsuspecting public. That's totally busted coming up. I'm legless. That is everybody else. How can you tell? The whole place is swaying. Come on, Douglas. Let's see if we can stand up. I'm coming aboard your craft. <laughs> 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 you make a holy oh. show of yourself. We've blown every last potato we have, my God. This is our anniversary. One year ago today, we sailed into your life. One year ago today. It was more like ten. Oh. No. <laughs> Tell, Tell me, me I will. Oh, oh. Make up. 
Have I told you recently what I think of you? Yeah, several times. Oh, good. Well, let me remind you, just in case you've forgotten. Uh, I think you're a pompous, pious, patronising... Um... Pontificating. Yeah, that's what I like that. Pontificating pillock. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Maria! Look at this. Hippie anniversary. Oh, oh, you, you shouldn't have, really. It's all a secret that you both have gaseoso and very good people. I work, I work. Sí, sí, muchas gracias. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to do it. Wonderful. Okay. Let me do it. Slices. To win. Es una ración para comer todo el día. Sí. Está muy buena. Ah, oh. Me enseñó mi abuela. Es muy grande, ¿eh? Ay, pero qué cabeza la mía. Que olvido yo lo... lo wait a moment. No, don't worry, don't worry. It's fine. Wonderful. Water, water. Your rubbish goes here, man. I can find you on the spot. Shh. Did you know that? Shush. I can find you on the spot. Shut up. As Shut up. Shut I can find Shut you. Shut up. 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 Sorry. We just, we just eaten a big meal. You see, we were, we were full, completo. Yeah. We didn't mean to hurt you. Didn't mean to, didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Non-payment of uh, membership fees, plus management and mooring charges. I think you can do with one or two sobering facts of life. Thank you. OK. It's very funny, Blake. Oh, it was him. Do you think you could hurt me? I mean, do you think there's someone like you? Someone like me? It was him. Because you can't. What hurts me is to see the Union Jack flag up there and people like you tramping in the gutter. You got hang your head with shame. Sorry. Yeah, well, you can get me a drink by way of an apology. We've run out. We need to make some money. Delgado. <laughs> Y que no está casado, no es lo que quiero decir. Yo lo que digo es que las mujeres ya no quieren promesas en las que no creen. Sí. We need to earn some money, don't we all? Sí, sí. No, 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 claro que ella cree en el sacramento del matrimonio, padre. ¿Cómo no va a creer? Sí. Sí. No, 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 sí, sí, es que... She wants to change the service and the priest is saying no. Yo... Pero, pero, padre, si yo soy uno de los hombres más respetuosos con la tradición católica que hay en toda España. Pero... Sí. We thought you might have a job for us. Sorry. Sí, sí, bueno, pues entonces dentro de un ratito, sí. Sí, 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 sí. Vale. Wait, wait. Uh, un momento, padre. Uh, vamos a ver. ¿El, ¿El organista podría tocar esa música de los Beatles, All You Need Is Love? ¿Mm? Sí. Suspicious husband. Sí. Have you got anything else? Sí, muy bien. Vale, hasta luego, sí. <laughs> what do the English say? Beggars can be choosers. Mm? Nos llamará más tarde. Mira, le dices hey, que si no lo... You are to meet him at Clans, 5 o'clock. Mira, arreglalo, inténtalo. Right. Lo intentaré, de verdad. I'm not doing it. I'm not following people, watching them like some dirty old man in a Mac. We've got no choice. Well, I have. Frank's offered me a job in his restaurant two nights a week. Well, you work there? Well, it beats working for Henley Doll on that stupid paper. You're just a snob, Douglas. I'm not a snob. But I'm not even following people around is better than peeling spots. I don't think so. It wouldn't last five minutes. 
She must be pregnant. Who? Mercedes. Typical you, Blake. You all suspect the worst. Will you explain it then, this sudden rush to the altar? Love, Val. <laughs> You're spot on, Blake. You're just a dirty old man in a Mac. Present for you. But what if I can't trace it? Do you understand? What if it's not me? What if it is somebody else? What if the food poison is being... Todo cuanto puedo decirle. Hey? No, are you listening to me? Are you listening to my words? Watch my mouth. What if it is not me? What if it is somebody else doing this to me to put me out of business? My God! It's like being on the moon in this place. You're all right, Frank. All right? Am I all right? Am I... Do I look all right? No, I'm not all right. God almighty, some people. They ask the most stupid questions at the most stupid times. What's going on? What's going on? They're trying to close me down. Food poisoning. Can you imagine that? The Spaniards telling us about food poisoning. I'm paying a grand a week for this place and they're trying to close me down. I'll tell you what, I've been stitched up. When? When? It doesn't matter when. I've just been stitched up. No, no, no. When are they closing you down? Two weeks. I've been given two weeks. Otherwise, I'm going to be closed down. That's me finished. Look, you may as well go home, senor. I, I cannot play you, senor. You better go home, eh? You do get down. Look, Sando, I apologize. Look, Sando, off you go. Ask the, ask the luego. Ask the luego. Right. Hello, Charlie. Hi. Well, the joint is uh, really jumping. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's a long story. I'm here to meet a guy called Delgado. You know? Yeah. He's, uh, he's not here. Hello, Charlie. Yeah. You must be really hard up for friends, wee man. One of the places is empty, Frank. You like the filth then. No, I'm not a copper anymore, Charlie. I work for Delgado. I understand your wife's been messing around. Who told you that? Delgado. And Delgado's got it wrong. My wife does not mess around. Of course, Charlie. I'm sorry, I forgot. You want her followed in case she gets lost. Do you two actually work together? Uh, yes. Then I will speak to you. My wife has been acting a bit strange recently, just the past few weeks. You see, she, uh, well, she used to like a drink, betting the horses, that sort of thing. It's caused a few problems in the past. I want to know if it's happening again. I want to know because I want to help her. That's all there is to it. Okay? Yeah. Follow up. Report back to me. There's a good boy. <clears throat> oh, Frank. Give Charlie here something to eat. On me. Swing for you, Douglas, I swear I will. Okay, let's burn rough. She knows we're following her. No, 
she doesn't. Yes, she does. That's why she turns. She'll turn again to make sure. For heaven's sake, Blake, for once in your life, be optimistic. All right, I'll be optimistic, all right? I'll be optimistic. Won't do any good, but I'm optimistic. usted la señal? Uh, uh, no, no, perdone, no la he visto. Suba al coche, por favor. ¿Qué? Suba al coche, por favor. Uy. I'll be with you in two shots. Oh. Sorry. trouble, are you? No, sweetheart, why? No, I was just wondering. <laughs> Two men followed me just now. Police? No, a couple of amateurs. As harbour master, I have to vouch for your identity. See. You are aging in public. A couple of amateurs. A couple of amateurs, that's what she said. Sorry. So what went wrong? Details are a bit embarrassing. You couldn't solve a crossword puzzle. And that's for you. You couldn't catch a bleeding cold. You're a couple of imbeciles. I'll put you away for seven years. What's that make you? You got lucky, son. I'll have a word with Delgado. I ask for someone good, and what does he send me? A pair of living brain donors. In my life apologizing. No, don't you spend half your life cogging things up. You spend the other half apologizing. You're about as much use as a chocolate teapot. Tomorrow we do it my way. Sorry.
All right, kids, how you get? Get dried. Get your clothes on. You want a drink? No, thanks. How about you? Brandy and arsenic, something like that. No, thanks. I'll see you later, guys. Your kids? No, our next door's. Right. Shoot. You know a man called Chewy Edgerton? Yeah, my best mate in London. Yeah, well, your missus likes him as well. Any consolation, Charlie? It was a top-class hotel. Just do one, Blake, will you? You don't mind if I count it first? Can't trust anyone these days. Do you know what your trouble is, Blake? Shall I tell you? Is this for real? Hi. Hi, I'm crying. That's your problem, Blake. You've been in the filth too long. That's all you ever see is filth. I was a villain, yeah, okay. But by Christ, I was a human being. Anyone decent I took care of. Wife, mother, friends. I took care of them. But not you, Blake. No, not you, Blake. Because you've lost it, son. You're all filth. Scum yourself! <laughs> I rather think you deserve that. Come on. No, you'll pull me in. Oh, God, give us your head. I know you, Blake. Douglas, there was a blind, stupid, and childish. Give us your head. All right, come on. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I have narrowed it down to the cream cheese or the sausage roll. He loves her. I mean, villains don't do that. They meet a woman, they spend money on her, and when she plays around, they knock her around. They've wasted their money. It's like they've picked up the tab, but someone else has eaten the meal. That's the way they think. They don't cry about it. Well, my money's on the sausage roll. Oh, see that guy? He owns the place. He's nicked all my customers. Have you got kids? Huh? Yeah, uh, yeah, two back home. Charlie wants kids. I could tell that there was a couple there when we went round. We did a little by a free Spanish team with filthy animals. NHS? Yeah. National Health. Now, you pillock, I'm talking about the sausage rolls. Uh, excuse me, two more. Hey, Defed, Dos more. Oh, uh, have you poisoned any wells recently? Oh, yes, you spread it pretty quick, didn't you? Hey, I haven't had one customer today, not one customer. But I'm going to get even, you know, don't worry about that. I can fight dirty, too, I can contend, you know what I mean? Don't call me Frank. My name's Francis, Francis Drake. I was named after him, do you remember him? Little fella with a beard, well, he did for you lot, and I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to take the game. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, you... Been a bit of a pain lately, haven't I? More like an agony. I'm thinking of renaming this boat the Garden of Gethsemane. Charlie was crying, you know, and the first thing I thought of was, what's he up to now? You're right, Douglas. I always suspect the worst. But I was a copper. I was trained to suspect the worst. I mean, you were records and files, Douglas, you know what I mean? A, 
A robbery here, a murder there, just words on a page, but I was there. I expect the worst, I suspect the worst, because I was there when the worst really happened. Ow, for God's sake! Sorry, that hurt. Here, I'll do it. You can't confine it to the job, Douglas. You know what I mean? You can't go to work suspecting the worst and then go home and hope for the best. You just can't do it. You're always suspicious. This bloke's doing me a favour. Why? What's in it for him? This girl wants to talk to me. Why? What's she after? I'm getting to like this bloke. I'm getting to love that woman. So you bail out. You asked me why I never got married. Yeah, that's why. You never got married, Blake. Because you're incredibly ugly. Go easy on that stuff. Do you want one? What? Do you want a drink? Just a wee one. Charlie, one's too many because a dozen's not enough. You know that. I used to like it when you drank. No, you didn't. Even I didn't like me when I was drinking. Didn't like me. That's why I drank. Come on. There are better things to do in bed than that. I'm tired. sleep. What brought all that on oh. last night? What? All that philosophizing. Oh. I mean, I've known you devote a certain amount of thought to whether it should be cheese and onion or smoky bacon. Oh. I've seen you take wax out of your ears and contemplate it for hours on end. Oh. Nothing on this scale, Blake. <laughs> what about Pluto turned Plato? One day she's being followed by two men. Next day she's meeting her fancy men in broad daylight. They're walking arm and arm into a hotel. <sighs> no one's that careless. No one married to Charlie, anyway. <sighs> oh. Andy Pandy Lynch. Benson Wages job, 1988. Taylor Diamonds, 1989. Chewy Edgerton. Served eight years for fraud, 1970. Andy Pandy Lynch. Armed robbery, 1971. Tonto McAdam. Extortion, 1978. So? So look. If a bunch of choir boys come to Spain, you think they're going to do a bit of singing. A bunch of footballers, they're going to play some football. A bunch of villains turn out, they're going to do some villainy. <laughs> so? So, we're policemen. Well, ex-policemen. We've been trained to prevent crime. Who's paying? What do you mean who's paying? Nobody's paying. So forget it. Hmm. You didn't reply. What? To the wedding invitation. Répondez s'il vous plaît, you didn't. Yeah, well, I was busy. 
And what about the Spanish police? They are not invited. Tell them what's going on. You tell them. I can't tell them. They'll ignore me. I wonder why. 